Okay, now we're going to get into some advanced parts of Handbrake. And this is how you can affect your uh, image and your dimensions. And I'm going to start fresh here. I'm going to go in, get my file. And when I first come into a Handbrake and I, connect, I tell what the source is, if I look down here and I look at picture size, source is 640 by 400 so I'm gonna try to get it the same exact size but if you see here it says output 594 by 338 and that's smaller than these dimensions um, and it also does picture cropping and here are these weird numbers that seem confusing but they'll make sense in a second so I don't want any cropping and I want to keep 640 by 400 so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to click picture settings up here at the top and a little box pops up picture settings and it has the width and the height and it also has cropping uh, but not only that we are going to get into this in a second but we're going to also click up here at the top the preview window and we're going to see preview of the video and you can see that it's already cropped here uh, so we know that's wrong and there's this, if you put your mouse over the window of the preview you'll see this little slider so you can actually get uh, an idea of what's going what's going to be cropped throughout your whole video so I'm gonna leave the preview box open because I can look at my changes and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to come over here where it says anamorphic strict and I'm gonna do none and the box changed a little bit it's still cropped but that's okay I'm actually going to bump this up to 640 and then I realized that this is not 400 so I'm going to uncheck keep aspect ratio and I'm going to make it 400. Now that all that means is now it's at least the same width and height as our original file and this is a good size for putting it on a website but we have to fix the cropping so I'm going to go over here where it says cropping under the picture settings and click custom and I notice on the left hand side that's where a lot of the cropping is taking place so what I'm going to do is I'm going to alter this number with these little arrows. Remember those confusing numbers? These are the confusing numbers. Right here, 52, 10, 18, 10. 52, 10, 18, 10. Uh, or something along those lines. I, I don't really know, 52, 10, 18, 10. I don't know how they read it. but um, And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to crop this. And if you go too far, it can look a little weird. See? Uh, let me find a good example. There isn't really a good example. You're lucky you have a black background, so it's okay. But if it was a white screen, you might see black lines over here. So um, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do the right and the left. I can even do the top and the bottom if I want to. And this is affecting the cropping, but it's not affecting the dimensions. It's still going to be 640 by 400. So the top seems a little cropped. So that's what I'm doing. So I'm messing with these and the preview is telling me what we're going to get and then I just close this, close this, the cropping numbers changed, the output is now 640 by 400 and then I will click start and it'll create my cropped video. One other thing that you might want to consider doing is clicking web optimize. It uh, helps uh, for, with websites so you might want to turn that on too, it's a good idea. Okay, other than that, that's how you do it.